Hi, everyone. This is Mahabeli. Uh, I'm an associate professor of practice at the Center for Learning and Teaching at the American University in Cairo here in Egypt. And I'm also uh, the co-director of Virtually Connecting and the co-facilitator of Equity Unbound. I'm Mia Zamora. Um, I am a professor of both literature and writing at Kane University, which is just about 20 minutes outside of New York City in the US. Um, and I'm also a co-facilitator of Equity Unbound and um, uh, Virtually Connecting. Hi, um, I'm Autumn Keynes. I'm an instructional designer at the University of Michigan Dearborn. I'm also a co-director of Virtually Connecting and a big fan of Equity Unbound. <laughs> And we decided to create these resources for how do you build community online? Because we felt that a lot of people are gonna be teaching online this semester from the very beginning. Uh, and a lot of people don't know how do you build community both at the beginning of a semester, but also throughout the semester. How do you get that community feeling, not just the teacher with the students, but the students amongst each other. Um, and we also know that some people maybe have an activity they do uh, face to face, they don't know how to adapt online or um, they, they can't you know, sort of imagine how do you do it throughout the semester. So what we've done is that we've curated some resources. We've got videos and text to describe the activities for you. Um, and anyone in the world is free to reuse these to adapt these. Um, and Autumn's gonna explain to you a little bit more about the adaptation. So the adaptations are so important and I'm gonna draw on a concept that we defined um, <clears throat> You know, through our work with Virtually Connecting um, and some scholarship that we did there uh, with this term called intentionally equitable hospitality. And intentionally equitable hospitality, um, a key factor of it that you should be aware of is um, basically what it does is it recognizes that um, you know, in, in our classes or in our uh, organizations, we're always, you know, wanting to make people feel welcome, but that people are on different levels as far or on different footing in terms of what they feel, what makes them feel welcome. That can be influenced by who they are or what culture they come from. And so intentionally equi equitable hospitality intentionally looks for um, what would really make that person feel welcomed and how can we be hospitable to someone um, in a way that makes them feel um, cared for and makes them feel welcomed into these spaces. And so no uh, canned or boxed uh, uh, facilitation technique or technology is ever going to be able to do that. Um, so that's why it's so important that we have some adaptations for each one of these um, because we're recognizing that in your classes and in your groups and your organizations and your committees, you're going to have a, a vast variety of different people who have different needs. So those adaptations are very important. I also just wanted to add that um, there's an always open contribution invitation. So um, one of the wonderful aspects of what we hope we're doing here is inviting you to contribute to um, the resources and also thinking about those small adjustments that make a big difference depending on context, as Autumn just said. So um, yes, uh, feel welcome to use these the way you would love to use them and remix and adapt um, based on the content that you have and the classroom that you're working with and the co-learners and community that you are working with. And we hope you will share back. So uh, we're very grateful for 1HE's um, support in creating and hosting these um, resources. And you will have different ways of sharing back. You can share back on the 1HE site, you can share back on, on any kind of social media that, that you're in. We would really uh, appreciate it if you let us know. You know, you try something, how did it work for you? Did you do it differently? Did you do it the same, but you discovered that it doesn't work for some students? And we can keep all iterating on this and helping each other do better for our students. And so that hopefully we'll have um, a better communal feel because this is, I think, something that all of us are hungry for in these times. And I hope you and your loved ones are safe and well.